It's just not gonna happen. More socks, just for something new. My bed frame always breaks. Hey guys. So I'm in a bit of a slump. I have spoken about it in my past couple of videos where my mental health has not been the greatest. I'm already sweating. Let me take this off. So just a really quick disclaimer before I get into the video. Although I do make lighthearted jokes and fun about it, I just want to make it very clear that if you guys are struggling or you have a friend that's struggling and you're a little bit worried about them or you're having a little more negative thoughts than usual, I have left some links down below for some hotlines. Of course, I live in Australia, so I have linked down some Australian hotlines, but I have also linked down some international ones that I could find. I just want everyone to know that they are not alone and that it's okay to feel this way, but it's not okay to not reach out. You are not alone, you are loved, and I love you. I've made a list of things to do that I think are gonna make me feel more motivated, but let's just do this. Subscribe if you want, follow the Instagram if you want. Let's get straight into it. So before we do anything, it is so important for step one, which is creating a vision board. Now, first thing I'll do is I will create a board on Pinterest and I will go through and save whatever photos I like. I've linked the board that I use down below. None of these are my photos. I just found them all on Pinterest. Then I open Canva and I download all the Pinterest photos. So how you download them is you click the three dots in the top right corner and then just click download image and they all go to your camera roll then I airdrop them to my iMac. I personally like using Canva just because it's easy to use, it's accessible and you can move the photos to however you want them to look and overall I would just really recommend this. Not only is it really visually pleasing but it just over, like makes me happy. I really don't know how to explain it, I don't understand why it just does and it looks stunning. Step two is creating a new playlist with upbeat, happy songs because research has shown that low vibe songs actually do correlate with negative mental health. I've linked some links down below if you don't believe me. Again, I'm not a health professional. I just read things on the internet and assume they're true, so. I'm a strong believer in the fact that your environment can dictate the way you're feeling a lot in the situation. And my room is an a mess. We're not gonna beat ourselves up about it, but I am going to change on my bed sheets because I feel like that is always a good start. Is that good, guys? Let me know. It'll be too late, but let me know. My bed is typically always really messy. <laughs> not messy, I just chuck everything on here all the time. There we go. Let's do this. My bed frame always breaks. Oh dear. Loving my new Mac wallpaper. I'm so happy I did it on my Mac because it's always just there, so I can always just see it. Hopefully that'll help a bit with motivation. We'll see, but I have noticed before that making mood boards weirdly give me a lot more motivation than you think. But you just have to make one that caters to you, really. My hairstyle right now is just incredible, truly. Sorry, this angle is so weird. I just don't even know what to do about it. Okay. Ooh, I worked up a sweat just then. I worked up a sweat. It's literally gonna be thunderstorming and raining today and I'm still sweating like crazy right now. But I'm proud of myself for actually changing my bed sheets. And if I just flip this around. There we go. That'll do. The bed looks nice now, nice enough. <laughs> That is the next thing on the list. But that is a later Hannah issue. We're just gonna take that as a win and not think too deeply about the state of my room. Hello, my beautiful people. It is... 8 34 p.m right now i had an all right day i mean obviously my morning was pretty productive which did make me feel pretty good i went for a bit of a swim at my gym when i got home from work and i pretty much just got home from the gym then definitely a bit of, bit of a rough day just for some personal reasons but we're powering through we still have a lot to do but we're getting there and that's what matters at the end of the day i need to focus more on the stuff that i already got done versus the stuff that i still desperately need to do as i currently stare at my floor which is just a monstrosity of a mess i will see you guys in the morning as we continue our journey together Hello guys, it is the next day now. It is like 10 a.m. I wanna say, and it is Ikea day. I've been wanting to get the Alex9 drawer set for quite some time now, and I think now I finally have the extra funds to afford it. I wanna put it 
just here. But it is a Saturday, so IKEA is going to be the worst possible place to be right now because it's going to be so busy. Me trying to build anything? It's just not going to happen. It's just not. But I think that'll help a lot because, yeah, I that doesn't even need an explanation. But I think I just need some extra organizers. The floor will still be dealt with later today, but IKEA is the first thing on the list. Please ignore the current arrangement going on. I am sitting on the ground because if I lie in bed, I will fall asleep. But long story short, I went to Ikea. I was so close to crying and having a meltdown that I didn't film anything. I got one photo with an elephant in it that I named Henry. So I say hello to Henry, but I got the drawer set and it was successful and I didn't even cry. I thought I would, but I didn't. Hello guys, it is like 5 p.m. now. We went to Ikea and it was... mental i don't think i feel i don't think i filmed anything at all it was so busy but i got the drawer set obviously it's not built or anything yet but i have it so that is step one but i think what i'm going to do now is clear my floor i'm just going to put a time lapse moment because you guys have watched me clean my floor a million times but i think we're going to do that and then after it's all cleaned off my floor then i think we're going to go through some clothes and try and get rid of some because I do want to start decluttering. I want to declutter under my bed as well, but I think I'll do that once the drawer set is built. So that way when I organize it, I have somewhere to put the stuff. But I guess let's just do it. I'm just going to time lapse it so you guys don't have to watch me clean my room for ages again. I really can't be bothered, but we're going to get it done and it'll feel so much better once it's done. So I have decided that I will be making this a series. So this is only episode one. So I did just do a very basic clean apart from my closet clean out, which is coming a little bit later in this episode. But all I really did was put away some clothes, put some dirty clothes in the laundry. Like it was mainly honestly just clothes. It looks a lot worse than it actually is, but it's still not great. And I know that I need to work on it, but I'm really hoping that this series and organizing everything fully instead of just doing a quick clean all the time will really help with the disorganization of my floor because I know really that it's not good but I know a lot of people struggle with it and I'm not really that embarrassed by it. I used to be growing up quite a bit more but I know that it's normal but it's definitely something that I will be working on within the next couple episodes but yes please don't judge me it happens to the best of us. <laughs> Hello guys, it has been a couple days since I filmed anything. I won't lie, but that's okay. We had work today and I've just gotten home and today is the day we're tackling the thing that I keep trying to ignore and that is my wardrobe. It is not great. I'm not gonna lie, it is a bit of a mess. I kind of just shove stuff in there and leave it to it. Now I have just realized that I am going to have to build my drawers by myself. So let's just get straight into it before I come to my senses and I just, I literally got home from work and I've just had to, go, I'm just have to go straight into it because otherwise the second I sit down, I'm not going to get back up. <laughs> I did last night also set up time limits on apps on my phone because I've just noticed that I've been scrolling on my phone so much and I know that it's just not good for me overall and I just need to stop. So I've put on an hour time limit per day on TikTok, which I've already reached, which is crazy, but I think I just... When I'm eating and stuff, I just scroll and scroll and scroll and it's not good, but we're working on it. That's all I have to do today. It's really not that bad. Well, it is, but... Oh, I thought that was gonna work a lot better. My floor is not already messy. That is clean clothes that I just need to put away. Those are the shoes that I just took off because I just got home from work. And those are my bags that usually live there. So don't come for me, it's not messy. Oh wait, it's not on. Okay, hold on. <laughs> just give me a sec. Let's just get straight into it, shall we, boys and girls? I don't really know what the best... I guess I'll just bring them all out. All right, we'll start off with this group. Oh. Okay. I'll probably keep more than I should, but he... I was gonna donate this, but you never know when you need a unicorn onesie, and this is why I have too many things. I think this yellow champion jumper, I think it is cute, but I think someone else will wear it more than I do. Mm, actually, I'll keep it. This is why I can't get rid of things. I'll keep it, I'll give it a couple months, because it is, to be fair, it has been summer, so I've only just been able to start wearing jumpers so I'll give myself time before I get rid of that. This dress I'll keep because I honestly don't have a lot of dresses that fit me at the moment. This jumper is cute, I'll keep that. I'm not doing too good. Keep that. Keep. Keep. 
This is a donate. Okay. Next batch. Oh dear. I might keep it for now. This is just a green New York jumbo. It's cute, but just not my style. I'm definitely keeping more than I thought I would, which isn't a great start, but we're not going to be too harsh on ourselves because it's fine. This I will keep. It's just another dress. It's got like this meshy part there. It's really pretty. Keep, 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 keep. Okay. I'm keeping a lot. Now this is donate. Okay, this a friend did give me, so I'm gonna double check with her that she's okay if I donate it before I do that. Keep this, because it's good for work. I just realized that this tripod is probably so in the way of these shots. This is what I was dreading the most. Okay, all of these are just like socks that aren't mine. So I'm just gonna chuck them on this for now. I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is just my family. I always get everyone socks. Like, I don't understand. These are not my socks and they just always end up here. And I don't, I couldn't tell you why. Not one part of me has any idea as to why this happened. It just does. I don't think this is mine. So I'm gonna go check it over there. Actually, I might keep this one because it's really good for bedtime. Oh, that's broken. So that would have to be thrown away. There's honestly a lot of socks. I will have to just put them all in here and then sort them out at a later date. I've already hit a wall and we've been doing this for like 10 minutes. I always struggle with teddies the most. I never know which ones to keep. These, I will keep both of those. A coat hanger that isn't broken, amazing. More socks just for something new. Go. There's a lot of little bits and bobs that will be going in the bin. I have a feeling I stored things in here. I just can't remember what it is. Oh, they're just some dresses. This I loved. It's too big. So it's going to have to donate. What else have we got? This, again, adorable. It's just something about it doesn't feel right. But I might keep it for now. This is cute. It's a good basic, but I don't need it. Okay, amazing. Now. <laughs> What I will do is I will put my boat appliances that don't have a home in here. I probably should have done this in an easier location, but that's fine. Now the teddies. What are we gonna do with the teddies, guys? I find it really hard. Maybe I'll put the clothes back in and then I'll look at what we're dealing with down here and then the teddies can be the deciding factor then. I did keep more stuff than I was hoping to, but that's almost a good thing because that means I have more than enough things to wear. Honestly, even though I didn't get rid of much, it looks like less of an explosion than it did. Like, look, you can see my floor. A win is a win. Some of you may be angry about this decision, but I will be keeping these teddies for now. That's all right, they're all just chilling. And then like, that is so much better than what it was, really, isn't it? It is so much more organized than what it was. That isn't. Once I build my drawer set, I think that's when I'm gonna go through that, only because once I've organized it, I won't have somewhere else to put it, rather than just having to put it straight back up there. Now I have to deal with this. I'm gonna have to charge my both my cameras because they're both about to die, and then we'll deal with the mess that is now my floor. But that's pretty decent, right? Then we just did a really cheeky, quick speed clean. Most of it was just clothes that needed to go away and some rubbish, but I honestly smashed it. It took me like five minutes. It really wasn't that messy and feeling amazing about my cupboard progress. It's time. Okay. Okay. take a quick intermission because I've already started bleeding. Let's continue. Where's my phone? Oh. This might be one of the worst ideas I've ever had. Oh. 
We are so close. Look at it. I'm so proud of myself. It's been like two hours.